What's happening everybody? Steve here at Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com coming back to you with another video. And if you take a look on this whiteboard right here, you might be a little surprised. This video is gonna be about why I sold the Corvette. So first and foremost, it's crazy that like thinking back six years ago, I was working at the Cracker Barrel. I was delivering pizzas. When I was 21, I got arrested, ended up in jail, was doing a bunch of stupid stuff, hanging out with the wrong people. And, you know, about 10 years later, I, I could have never imagined even buying a Corvette, right? So I ended up buying a Corvette about, I think about a year, year and a half ago. And it was my dream car. Like it's just something that I always wanted. I could never even imagine myself owning something like that. And I purchased the car. But the crazy thing is, not long after, and I'm not sure if you guys know this, um, but probably about five or six months later, I started to kind of regret the decision. Now, I did, I'm gonna make Dave Ramsey somewhat proud in this video because I paid cash for it. So I didn't go out and just do it, like, I didn't do it when I, I was in a position to be able to do it. That's what I'm trying to say. I, you know, I had the money. It wasn't like I was spending my last dollar. I did it because I had the money. I worked super hard and I got it. But again, I started to regret the decision and I wanna kind of share some of those things in terms of what I was regretting, maybe some of the lessons I learned in terms of why I sold a Corvette and I actually bought a Toyota Tacoma. So I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen over here of uh, the new car and of me saying goodbye to the Corvette. But um, there's definitely some things I wanna share with you guys. The first thing I wanna talk about is achievement. A lot of times, you know, we're watching social media and we're seeing people with the nice cars and the fancy houses and everybody's showing off how big their you know what is on social media and we think that that's what we want. But you really gotta get in touch with your values. You gotta really get in touch and, and spend time alone, whether that's meditating or walking or exercising and really thinking about what's driving me. Is it my kids that's driving me? Is it my girlfriend or boyfriend that's driving me? Is it the family? Is it I wanna, you know, I wanna be able to support my family unlike when I was a little kid. Maybe when you were younger, you know, you couldn't even play hockey because it cost 500 bucks and your parents didn't have the money. Or maybe you were always so jealous because, you know, next door, maybe your friends had a pool and you always wanted a pool, but your parents couldn't get you a pool. Who knows what that is, but you got to figure out what your driving force is. And as you get older and mature, you know, you start to realize who you are. And I thought that what I wanted was materialism, the big house, the super nice, sexy car. And when I got it, I I didn't really feel fulfilled. And this is something that Tony Robbins talks a lot about. If you guys ever see this necklace that I have right here, this is a, uh, it's a Tony Robbins necklace. It always reminds me to kind of stay grounded and I'll talk about it in another video, but I realized that after I purchased the Corvette and then I sold the Corvette, it's not the, the, the materialistic stuff that I want. It was achievement. For me, and, and you might be able to relate to this, I get more joy going through the journey the ups and downs. You know what it's like starting an eBay business or an Amazon business or entrepreneurship. It's the ups and the downs. You don't know what's going to happen the next day, but boom, when you achieve that and you, you know, accomplish your goal, for me, that's what really struck home. So that's something I learned. It was achievement that I wanted. It wasn't the Corvette that I wanted. I also learned about myself, like I already said, when I really dove deep into my values is it's, it's not materialism that drives me. It's making a difference, it's lifestyle, it's freedom, it's helping people, it's adding value. You know, one of my huge driving forces is just making sure that I'm at the best I can be, that I'm always improving my life in all areas from business to finance to health, to all areas. And I'm, you know, I'm screwing up and making mistakes and learning, but I wanna be my best because I know that if I'm my best and I can showcase it to you guys, it's gonna help and change a lot of people's lives. Real estate. So one of the reasons why I sold the Corvette and got to Toyota Tacoma is because I just purchased my second multifamily investment property. The first one I purchased in February, uh, they're both side by side, two family houses. The first one I owner occupied it and I was living in it. And then I had another opportunity pop up about two houses down the street from me. So I purchased that property. And one thing I realized when you're doing real estate, you're gonna have to repair things. You're gonna have to move things. There's gonna be different issues that you're just gonna need you're gonna need to move things. So I've been like renting U-Hauls all the time. And I'm like, you know what? This Corvette ain't doing me any justice with my real estate. So the Toyota Tacoma is definitely helping. Next thing I wanna talk about is cash is king. So you might see people online who 
buy a house or buy two houses or investing in real estate and you think, wow, they're rich. They, they have it all going on. Like, it's crazy. I bought two houses and people are like, man, you must be loaded. You must be crushing it. I'm, I'm like somewhat out of cash right now in terms of liquid cash. Yeah. Is my, are my assets, is my net worth growing? Yes, yes, yes. But I put 25% down on two houses that were both, well, one was 240,000 another one was 250,000. So do the math. Cash is king. By owning this $50,000 Corvette, I had $50,000 held up in a liability. That's not an asset. A Corvette is not an asset. Now, some cars can be considered an asset, and an asset is something that makes you money. A liability is something that loses you money, that costs you money every single month. And a Corvette is a liability. Why? Because I have to pay taxes on it every single year. That's losing me money. I'm paying gas. I'm maintaining it, right? So those are things that are losing money for me. Whereas a piece of real estate, each month I'm cash flowing on that property. Cash flow is the difference between your expenses and your income. The property is appreciating long term, right? Um, there's also some tax benefits to owning real estate. And there's a couple other benefits as well, such as equity pay down. A couple other big things, big reasons why I sold the Corvette. I was always worried. I don't know about you guys, I'm not a huge car fan. Like I said, I'm being 100% vulnerable and honest in this video. I bought the Corvette for the wrong reasons. I thought it was gonna give me all this energy. I thought it was gonna you know, help my social media. I thought it was gonna help to build more of an audience on my channel by showing off the car. And I did it a couple times and I'm just like, this isn't for me. I don't wanna build an audience based on materialism. I wanna build an audience based on educating them and inspiring them and motivating them and helping them build a real business and income streams. I don't wanna just use these, these outside forces to, to build an audience. So that was one thing, but I was always worried driving it, parking it, always worried, is somebody gonna hit it? Am I gonna get in an accident? It was, it was freaking me out. And, and one of the big things, and I, I I couldn't believe this. I thought owning a Corvette would make me more hungry because I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna be in a sports car, I'm gonna be looking fly, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be living like a boss, right? And what it actually did for me is it made me comfortable. Can you believe that? Owning a Corvette made me comfortable, it made me less hungry. Subconsciously, something was going on in my mind where it was saying, Steve, you already made it. You got the Corvette, man. I know it's such a stupid example, but that's how it hit me. I felt less hungry. I felt like I already had it all going on. And that might sound egotistical and whatnot, but I'm just being 100% real with you guys. It made me less hungry. Right now, after buying my second property and not having a ton of liquid cash and now selling the Corvette, I'm freaking hungry right now. Like I am ready to rock it. I am ready to crush it. I like the feeling of having my back against the wall. And if you guys watch Gary Vaynerchuk, he talks a lot about this too. He's like, man, I got a dream of owning the Jets, of buying a professional football team. But he's like, I don't know if I ever really want to do it because then what? So that was a big thing to consider being less hungry. Obviously a Toyota Tacoma, and I, again, I, I should have put a picture on this video, is going to help with reselling, right? If I want to pick up a pallet, I could throw stuff in. If I crush it at a garage sale, I got the whole, I got a six and a half foot bed. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, reselling, real estate, it's all great with a Toyota Tacoma. And last but not least, I live in Connecticut. In Connecticut, the winters are bad. You do not want to be driving a Corvette in the winter in Connecticut. You're going to probably die. So if you guys are wondering, if you saw my Instagram or my YouTube post that I sold the Corvette, this is exactly why I sold the Corvette. All these re reasons from really getting an understanding of my values, learning that I'm not really materialistic as society and social media has kind of been training us to think. I realized that, you know, having a truck is going to be much better for real estate for reselling, having a sports car for me, and I'm not a huge like sports car guy, it just made me less hungry. I was always worried. I didn't have liquid cash on me, right? Although I did trade for a Toyota Tacoma, which was like 20 something thousand, but I got $13,000 cash back, so it's pretty cool. And the expenses, the maintenance, winter in Connecticut, it all gave me a big reason why I had to sell the Corvette. So hopefully you were able to found, find some value in this video. If you guys are growing an eBay business or an Amazon business, or any online business in general, and your driving force is something like a car or a super nice house or something egotistical, something where your ego is saying to yourself, like, get this to show people, get this to, you know, feel like a boss. Like, I'd really, really urge you to spend some time thinking about what really drives you. We all think that cars and money and, 
you know, owning the biggest house and competing with the Jones next door is going to make us happy. But really at the end of the day, for me, it's helping people, it's contribution, it's health, it's feeling good every day, it's having a purpose, right? It's, it's being able to, to serve not only people in your business, but your friends and your family and, and having that community and that network. That's what's important for me. So I urge you again to find out what really drives you and hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.